What's up guys, this is Muhammad Titi from Pima Page again. Let's just try to complete what we have just started a few days ago. Uh, we were to build a uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, contact book using Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio, Visual Basic 2010 and to connect the project with a Microsoft Access database that we have just built uh, with one simple table uh, and it, its name was contact as you can see here with ID field, first name, last name, phone number, mobile number, email. Today I'm gonna show you how to build a delete uh, record uh, command button. A command button to uh, th that uh, had that has a, a procedure that can be executed to delete some records from our database. First of all, we go we can just go through the uh, functionality quickly because it's the, the concepts are already being illustrated. But you have to note. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the SQL language for ease because it has uh, effective uh, performance than any other uh, procedures. First of all, dim i equals contact. This is uh, this code. Um, by the way, this code is uh, written in button delete record, click event, which is related to delete record button. This has name button delete record with uh, with text as you can see delete record. Okay, now let's go on. Dim i equals i is an integer uh, that has the value of the number of selected rows uh, in the contact view. So the uh, first, you, as you can see, the program orders a selected a number of selected rows. You know when a user wants to delete some records, they uh, he selects them first and then he deletes the or he or she or the user in general deletes the record after selecting them so the number of the selected rows the count of the selected rows are is, is uh, stored in uh, the integer number i now dim are you sure as message box result this to store result of a confirmation message box if yes or no you you, you can uh, Imagine the situation once the user selects the records and clicks um, clicks uh, delete records uh, a confirmation message should uh, show up and Saying are you sure that you want to delete? Number of records from the contact yes or no. So the result is uh, stored in are you sure? The result is stored in are you sure now my connection dot open this statement is uh, appears again here in this uh, procedure because I have to use it each procedure for example here my my connection in save changes my connection dot open and after save changes my connection dot dot close as well as in delete record my connection dot open and each time I uh, exit the procedure my connection dot close okay so that's it. Um, now let's go. Uh, let's uh, let's complete the uh, procedure. If no records are selected, then show message. Uh, let's let's just try to illustrate the concept of why using my connection dot open and my connection dot close. As we said before, that this program or this application deals with a data set, not the data source itself, not the database itself. But we have an adapter, as you can remember, and the data set. That at the data set deals with the adapter, and the adapter relays each command to the database and modifies it. So to update the data set each time I have to close the connection and reopen it. But anyway, if no records are selected, if the, no records are selected yet, the delete record uh, button uh, is uh, clicked, then a message like this should appear. Please select records to be removed. So you have to select first. So this is a delete. The title is delete. It's an information message. This is the prompt of it. And uh, to give the user another chance to click, uh, another chance to click again, we close the connection again and we exit the sub to give him another chance to try to to select and then click delete. Dim rows contact view 
we we here declare uh, an array to store the selected rows to store the selected rows okay so this is a data grid uh, view row data type of this array and the number of elements are the number of selected rows minus one the number of selected rows were minus one here I can choose I but anyway never mind below stores each selected row in the array it stores each selected row in the array so k is an uh, integer simple integer for the rows uh, array indexing and um, this is a for each statement for each row in the contact view selected rows just to store the row in its uh, position in the array rows and increase the index very simple statements now below shows the confirmation message and stores the result taken by the user in are you sure variable are you sure equal messages are you sure that you want to delete number of records is I records from contact so let's just try to execute it as fast as possible uh, try to add so delete this is uh, the message that should appear first delete records are you sure that you want to delete um, one record from the contact yes or no okay let's complete the code now if yes just let me put these okay I used to put these as comments but I'm now gonna use it because uh, this is a try catch a statement to catch errors and it is very important to be here okay it is very important to be here um, okay if source equals VBS if the result or if user tends really to, to remove records then the following occurs the following procedure this is a try statement to handle error try for each row in the array rows if not the row is nothing and not row dot index equals minus one this means that if not uh, if if the row is not empty, if the row is has not uh, does not have null values, if the row is really exist, then you remember you can you may remember this uh, string or this text um, this string type variable and this string type variable the first name and the last name the first name is the first uh, t uh, points to the first name in the data set and the last name points to the last name in the data set. So they, they were declared actually before in the first lesson. Dim first name as a string, dim last name as a string variable to carry the first name, variable to carry the last name. So let's go back to the code. Now the row in the array, the cell number one which points to the first name, the value of the first name of the row of the array should, st should be stored uh, in the first name. And the value of the second cell which is the last name should be stored in the last name now else means if if the row is nothing if the row has null values just go on go on skip the row uh, and just uh, try to catch another f uh, filled up row below is a delete command written in SQL and stored in uh, delete command object my ad my adapter dot delete command equal my connection dot create a new command this statement creates a new delete command okay the delete command has the parameters so my adapter dot delete command dot command text which is the SQL statement SQL statement is as follows delete from the table name is contact where this is a condition where the f name equals the, the f name in the variable uh, in the variable f name and the last name equals the last name that was stored in the variables so if the row in the contact view data grid matches the row in the data set it should be deleted my adapter uh, my adapter dot delete command dot execute query after uh, trans uh, transferring the sql uh, the sql statement or sql command to the adapter just command the adapter to be uh, to execute the delete command okay Example f name John last name Smith. So everything uh, Every row that has John Smith with anything here should be deleted from the data set and then the database <coughs> <coughs> Sorry 
Okay, update the data set after deleting records because as I said before we are dealing not to, uh, within the data source directly We are dealing with data uh, set So we have to update it each time we delete a record data set dot reset and my adapter dot fill data set fill the adapter if, uh, Go to the adapter and command it to fill the data set with the new modified table with the deleted rows and here we are refreshing and updating also the data grid on the form in the runtime. Contact view data source. Again, assign the data source after uh, modifying the contact after deleting records. Uh, it will be modified, so uh, the data source will be assigned again, and the contact view, which is the data grid, will be refreshed again. Next, it jumps to the second row and the third row, etc. All these selected rows should be deleted. Now, after deleting the selected rows, my connection dot close, catch exception as exception. If an exception occurs, I'm not I'm not actually uh, determining or specifying each exception by its name. But in general, uh, if an exception occurs, because this tutorial is for only illustrating the concepts, message box should appear with error occurred while deleting records. No records were deleted. This is a VB critical uh, message type. Uh, the title of it is error. And after that, uh, exit the connection. End the try. Else, this else statement, if user does not want to delete records, means if, if user pressed instead of VBS, he pressed in, uh, VB no. If he pressed no on the message box, then just close the connection and exit the sub to give him another chance. That's it. So, so let's try our new delete button. Actually, I'm gonna <coughs> put new values in the database. I have just recorded some values here. I'm gonna just close this and replace it with a new database uh, with some records, as you can see. Okay, so let's just try to do it again. That's it. These are the records of mine. I'm gonna delete this record, for example. I'm gonna before deleting uh, with uh, before deleting it. I'm just gonna click on delete record. The message, please select records to be removed because I'm not selecting any record. Press OK. Uh, I'm just uh, um, selecting this record, delete record, are you sure you want to delete one record? Yes, the record was deleted. So I'm gonna use another, uh, I'm gonna uh, delete another four records, Mohammed Ahmed King Zulili. I'm gonna select them all, delete. Are you sure that you want to delete four records from contact? Yes. They were deleted. Are you sure that you want to delete four, four records? Um, there is a problem here in defining the ID number because I am putting the ID. They, they were deleted actually here from the database. No records, but two still remains this, uh, as they are, because there is some problems in uh, just um, the viewing or the numbering of the ID. I'm just gonna change the uh, data type of the ID in the database to an auto number data type. Okay. After changing to an auto number data type. Well, I have to close this and um, just I'm gonna change it to an auto number. Yeah, sorry. Wait, we have to delete in order to uh, in order to change uh, the properties of the primary key. You have to delete each value in the uh, table. Just auto numbering and put it as primary key yes so no duplicate okay 
save the table and again I'm, I'm gonna just um, copy the values that I have put okay these are the values okay just copy to our database paste yes okay the, uh, these are the records I'm gonna just uh, try to run my application again and try to delete two of, of the records for example Raji and Kenzu delete records yes so as you can see here this is a Raji uh, with, a, with another, another name as you can see here each thing is being deleted has been deleted and as well as it was deleted from the database refresh that's it i hope you uh, enjoyed the lesson and the tutorial this um, was the concept of deleting just uh, some of records from the database wait us for a new tutorial to learn more and more about connecting databases of Microsoft Access with the Visual Studio Visual Basic 2010. Bye.